Welcome to this spoken tutorial on basics of single dimensional array in awk. In this tutorial, we will learn about arrays in awk, assigning array elements, how it is different from arrays in other programming languages, and refer the elements of an array. We will do this through some examples. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 16.04 operating system and Gedit Text Editor 3.20.1. You can use any text editor of your choice. To practice this tutorial, you should have gone through the previous awk tutorials on our website. You should have some basic knowledge of any programming language like C or C++. If not, then please go through the corresponding tutorials on our website. The files used in this tutorial are available in the code files link on this tutorial page. Please download and extract them. What is an array in awk? Awk supports arrays for storing related elements. Elements can be a number or a string. Arrays in awk are associative. This means that each array element is an index value pair. It looks very similar to arrays in any other programming language. But there are some important differences. First, we do not need to declare an array before using it. Also, there is no need to specify how many elements the array will contain. In programming languages, array index is generally a positive integer. Usually, the index starts from 0, then 1, then 2, and so on. But in all, the index can be anything, any number or a string. This is the syntax of assigning an array element in awk. Array name can be any valid variable name. Here, the index can be an integer or a string. Strings have to be written inside double quotes, whether it is index name or a value. Let us understand this with an example. I have already written the code and saved it as array underscore intro dot awk. This file is available in the code files link below the player. Please download and use it. Here I have taken weekdays as an example and return it inside the begin section. Here the name of the array is day. I have set the index as 1 and the value as Sunday. In this array element, I have used a string as the index. So, for the index first, the value is Sunday. The entire array is constructed likewise. Notice here, the array elements are not in a sequence. I have declared day 4 before day 3. In awk arrays, index need not to be in a sequential manner. Advantage of associative array is that new pairs can be added at any time. Let me add day 6 in the array. Place the cursor at the end of the last line and press enter. Then type the following. Save the file. We have declared the array, but how should we refer to the array element? Write the array name and the index within square brackets to refer an element at a particular index. Let us try this. Switch to the code once again. Place the cursor in front of the closing curly brace. Press enter and type print space day within square brackets 6. Save the code. Open the terminal by pressing Ctrl, Alt and T keys. Go to the folder in which you downloaded and extracted the code files using cd command. Now type op space hyphen small f space array underscore intro dot op. Press enter. See, we get Friday as the output. Next, we will check whether any element exists in an array at a certain index. For this, we have to use the in operator. Let me explain this with an example. Switch to the code in the editor window. 
Place the cursor at the end of the print statement and press enter. Then type as shown. Save the code. Now I have added two if conditions. The first if condition checks whether the index 2 is present in day. If yes, then the corresponding print statement will get executed. Then the second condition checks whether the index 7 is present in day. It will execute the print statement if it is true. As we can see, index 2 is in the array and 7 is not. Let's execute this file to verify the output. Switch to the terminal. Press the up arrow key to get back the previously executed command. Press enter to execute. We get the output as expected. We will now make some more changes to the code. Update the code as shown here. Below the 7 in day condition, I have added one more condition. This will check whether the value of index 7 is null or not. If true, it will print index 7 is not null. We already know that we don't have any index with 7, so it will not print anything. Next, we have changed the print statement of the condition 7 in day. Save the code. Let's see what happens when we execute the code. Switch to the terminal. Press the up arrow key to get the previously executed command. Press enter to execute. We got an unexpected output. The statement index 7 is present after null comparison is printed. How is it possible? When we write day of 7 not equal to null, we are trying to access the element at index 7. This access itself will first create an element at index 7 and initialize it with the value null. Next, we are trying to check if any element is actually present at index 7. As null element is already created, the output shows that index 7 is present after null comparison. So, remember this. Day at index 7 not equal to null is a wrong way to check the presence of an element. It will create a null element at index 7. Instead, we have to use the in operator. It will not create any extra element in the array. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. In this tutorial, we learned about arrays in awk, assigning array elements, how it is different from arrays in other programming languages, refer the elements of an array. As an assignment, define an array flower color. Index will be the names of the flowers. Value will be the corresponding color of the flowers. Insert entries for any 5 flowers of your choice. Print the color of the 4th flower. Check if the flower lotus is present in the array. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials and give certificates on passing online tests. For more details, please write to us. Please post your time queries in this forum. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NME ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at this link. The script has been contributed by Antra and this is Praveen from IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for joining.